We have 14-year-olds walking down the middle of the street in the city of St. Louis carrying AR-15s. I remind the body and the author of this amendment to the amendment these four words. Shall not be infringed. We are making it easier for children to carry guns. But, but no, let's not let them determine their gender. Let's not let them experience a drag show because that is indoctrination. But give them a gun and put it on a Christmas card. If you're 14 years old, you can actually walk down a sidewalk, a street, anywhere in the state of Missouri, carrying any type of a firearm until you brandish it, until there's intent, nothing can be done. It is our law in the state of Missouri. These are children. These are children. And they have firearms. And so now they have been emboldened and they're walking around with them. And until they actually brandish them and brandish them with intent, our police officers' hands are handcuffed. They are tied. The people in my district should not be penalized and lose their rights because of something that's going on solely in her district. And while it may be intuitive that the 14-year-old or whatnot has no legitimate purpose, it doesn't actually mean they're going to harm anyone. We don't know that yet. Is it good policy to basically start with the assumption that simply having a physical item is automatically causing harm, regardless of how you're using it and regardless of your age. It's important to us that we remember that there's a reason why we have these constitutional rights, and it's to protect the, the people from the government. And so for all those reasons, I'm not going to be able to vote for this amendment, for the construction of it and the principle of it and, and the, uh, the core value I have of it. There are a lot of devices that could be used for murder. And so unless we ever address What's those What's the issues, most common one in the United States? Uh, what's the most common thing that uses in murder? Right. You tell me. I don't know. I don't remember the statistic. <laughs> Firearms. A, did you just make a Count Chocula impression? The, uh... Yeah, you know why? Because this entire conversation is ridiculous. It's, this has become a parody. We are literally talking about public safety. And I have, for the last three weeks, for the last two months, I have been hearing about how, how much our children are in danger from drag queens. And now I'm hearing that guns aren't an issue. Guns aren't killing the kids in St. Louis and Kansas City. And that this bill is, is going to affect everyone in the state. And that's not the intention of the bill, right? It's only to affect St. Louis and Kansas City, where all the murder happens. Not Branson, which has exponentially high crime rates, if you look. Like, check out the data. It's happening everywhere. Tell me how, uh, how, um, how us not having this amendment is going to help protect children, how, care, how children being allowed to carry Not guns, because we're saying minors, but they are children. These are children that I've heard for the last couple of weeks are not allowed to watch rated R movies, but we're going to let them carry a gun. Tell me how that's safe. Hmm, the question of rated R movies. Yeah, I think that should be up to the parent. And I think, you know, when I decide if my child is mature enough to carry a rifle across property to hunt, and then you could say, well, the hunting's prohibited. I'm not sure it totally is. It says otherwise allowed by law, but let's say going to the spot they're hunting, if I say that my teenage son or teenage daughter is mature enough to do that and they can hike up to their hunting spot with a rifle, then I think that should be a decision I make as a parent. Should they be able to take them to school? Should they be able to take a gun at school? Mm -hmm. So this amendment, I don't think they could take a gun at school with or without this amendment. So this amendment doesn't really affect a child's ability to bring a gun to school, does do you, it? I'm asking, do you think that they should be able to? Yeah, I think a child should bring a gun to school. Because I mean, if we're school. saying shall not be infringed. No, no, I don't think a child should bring a gun to school. Okay, so you, so you, you do think it shall be, should be infringed when it comes to school. It was saying that I think that people laugh at that. We say, but, so, but there are exceptions, right? There like, are, what about a courtroom? Shall we infringe gun rights there? To carry a gun to the courtroom? Right. Yeah, I guess that's what we're arguing about is what do we think actually is violative of the rights? How does a law that says if I carry a firearm on public land protect people? Because it's, also, it's already law right now to shoot somebody. It's already law to murder. It's already uh -huh. law to commit assault. So that person who is not inhibited by those laws... Why would they be inhibited by carrying on then property why do we itself? Make, then why do we have any laws at all? Because if we're saying, if the crux of the argument against right. common sense gun control is people are going to murder, cr criminals are going are gonna to crime, then why have any laws at all? Why? I mean, why? 
why have any laws at all? I think a lot of us would argue that we should have fewer laws. Okay. But we should have some laws that are effective, that address some things, that, you know, and what we think is commiserate with our values. Do you think it's common sense to, pref- to, um, to support law enforcement who agree that things like this would help them in places like Kansas yeah, City and Yeah, I think it's common sense to support law enforcement, but it's never our job to do entirely what any group says. It's always our job oh, okay. to say, you've got a point of view, you've got a point of view, i got a set of values, I have my constituency. Even if, it's, even if it's based in evidence, like it's evidence-based practice and it's supported by data and national studies, international studies and crime reduction? It's, so I, I think that there is data, that there is a crime problem in St. Louis. I think that there are enough people who told me that we've got an issue with young people carrying firearms and committing mm-hmm. crimes. I don't think this is the way to solve the problem.